Good morning. I have got a bunch of ruffles here. I have been sewing. I've been sewing paper ruffles and fabric ruffles and I thought I would make some page edges. I don't know what you call them. Edges for pages. Anyway, strips to decorate. So I've got some pieces of paper here. That will be some pages in my vintage journal. Whoops, I forgot to set my timer. I had better do that really quick. Ooh. The first time I tried making these pa paper ruffles or the fabric ones, I got really frustrated because um, it's taking me so long. I'd watch videos of people that were doing ruffles and they'd have machines that would, um, you could set the speed. Mine you can't. You barely touch it and it just takes off. But I am getting better. So I'm going to fold some papers here. Hopefully I can get at least three done. And we'll see how it goes. So I have got some that I have stamped on. This is just the um, brown paper on the rolls, and I stamped on them, and then made the ruffles from them. Then I have some plain brown, and let me move the stamped ones. Then I have book pages with different shades that they've discolored over the years. And I have some of my coffee dyed lace papers that I made into ruffles and then music paper. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, since this is a little bit lighter, this page, I'm going to put a darker ruffle on this one. I just love how this pattern looks. So I think I will start on that one. And this came off of a music book paper that I had. I tore it apart to do some coffee dyeing. This kind of looks cool with the threads showing through there. Let me get my glue going. I kind of like to have it hang over the edge of my paper to have it sticking out a little bit. I like how that looks, so I will have it sticking out some. I think the other day I spent like four hours just sewing ruffles. I will probably end up putting some of the ruffles in my shop. Let me trim this one down. And how much of this do I want? I don't think I want it to go the whole length of the page. So we'll do part of it. This way. I like it better that way. I'm 
Now, something for a point of interest on here. Could put a flower there. Oh, it's upside down. That looks kind of cool. I think I will do that. And part of the flower will stick out of the page of the book there. Oh, that looks really nice. I like that. That was quick. Okay, so we'll set that one aside. And we'll grab another one. I usually don't get mine too dark. There's one that's a little bit darker than some of the others. Maybe I can do one of my lacy ones. That looks better. It's a little bit darker. And this one I think I will leave just not covering the whole page, just part of it. And we'll glue. Oh, I'm going to ink it. Then it'll make it kind of pop out, stand out a little bit more. These made up really fast. I was surprised when I was doing the ruffles on these. The book pages, I think, were the hardest because they're so small. It takes several book pages to make a ruffle. I think this is... I'm not sure. I was going to say this is two lengths, but it may not be. I mean, two paper lengths. I know I've seen people do it with brown thread and that looks really cool too. But I don't like switching my thread all the time. So I just did them all in cream. But what I might end up doing is I have my mom's machine and then I have mine. So I might put brown thread in one and the, keep the cream thread in the other. Then I can kind of go back and forth. And I hate stopping to thread bobbins all the time, so I picked up some extra bobbins at the store the other day so I could just fill them. I don't know. Just keep filling them, and then I could just keep switching and not have to stop my sewing. I know this looks really white, but it's not. It's kind of cream colored, but it's almost too white for that. Maybe not. Kind of like how that looks. Uh, this is from a table runner I picked up at a thrift store. I will put that on there. Don't know what I'll do for a point of interest on this one. If I need one, maybe just a bow would be okay. We'll see here. My daughter's home from work today. I told her, don't make noise. I'm making a video. No school today, so she is off from work. Okay, so something on there. Yep, that doesn't work. Hmm. 
Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I had brought down some other things here. So far, nothing is standing out to me. I do like that dark brown in there, but I'm going to have to figure out something to put on the little tag. I can't leave it plain. Maybe just a bow on there, except I need longer string. My poor mother-in-law the other day I was ripping fabric and she didn't know it. She had come out of her bedroom and she could hear me ripping fabric but she couldn't see what I was doing. And she thought there was something wrong with her hearing aid. She thought it was like a staticky thing. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. That's kind of cute. Alrighty, where's my glue? And then those loops can stick out there. And does it need a pearl? So far, both of these I have stuff up in the right kind of the right hand corner. I usually get so many things down on the bottom with like pockets and things, so I kind of need some things that add a little more bulk at the top, not all at the bottom. Ah, that pearl keeps sliding. There. I like that too. And again, the bow can stick out the top and the side. Oh, I keep bumping my lamp. Alrighty, one more. When you coffee dye paper and lay it out, one side gets lighter than the other. The side that's down is lighter than the other side. See about some music paper. Trim off my string. Tear the paper, but I gotta cut the string, the threads. I was making these little mini ruffles from leftover um, strips from when I package my items. I use these copy dyed strips of fabric to kind of wrap it in like a present. And so the leftover pieces I've been making little mini ruffles from. But oh, they keep getting stuck in my machine, and then I'd have to cut all the thread, pull out the bobbin, and fight with it to try and get the... I've never had to eat the fabric that badly, but oh, those little ones. I don't know if there's not enough for machine to grab. I will glue that down. When I made these music ruffles... Oh, I do have a mu piece of music paper here. I'll have to demonstrate what I mean. The first way that I folded them to make them, I was getting so many, so much of the blank spots between the music. And so then I was. So let me get a paper here. So when I was folding it, I'd fold it down 
and fold it again, and I'd get this spot like between. Now this one has a lot of music going every which way, but like spots like here, that was showing. So I ended up folding it this way. That way I got music on the whole thing. So if you make music ruffles, I'm going to end up trimming that. It's too long. I only have three minutes. Let's see if some of this brown lace that's sitting here will look good on there. I don't know what you call these page edgers. They, I don't know. But I think it looks so cool to have these on the edges. If this was wider, I would just put the brown down the middle, but my ruffle's not that wide, because I think that would look nice. Okay. Cut these out of a little, like a little blouse, I think they, or a little, like a little jacket thing. I don't know if I could ink a little bit on the edge on those. Make them stand out a little bit more. At least this isn't just up in the corner, it's along the side, so it's not all the same. There. We'll glue those down and see about a pearl in the middle. And I try to put pictures on Instagram when I do these. And I know I've mentioned my daughter and I are starting a blog on our websites. And I like to put things on there, but my camera on my other phone is... Or my phone is getting full and it won't let me take pictures. So I've got to figure out something else to do. I'm going to put some glue in the middle of these so I can put a pearl on there. I know that makes it a little bulkier, but I don't care. I think they look so pretty. Oh, I better hurry here. Otherwise it won't let me flip it and then I'll have to do the video all over again. And I don't want to do that. There. Oh, I love how these turned out. I love it, love it. Okay, so there's my three page borders. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.